Welcome primary four with you is Miss Noura Abdurrahman and today we are going to start lesson number four from concept number two which is reaction time. Are you ready to start? Let's go. Okay, look with me into this picture. What can you see? The ball is falling. The ball is falling. Okay. When the ball is falling, did you see it first or hear it first? You can see it first. Why? Because the brain can explain what you see faster than what you hear. The brain or your brain explain what you see faster than what you hear. That's why you can see the ball falling first. After that, you can hear it. So, the brain explain what you see faster than what you hear. What you see is called visual respond. Repeat after me. Visual respond. Visual respond. Visual respond means what you see. What you see is called visual respond. Visual respond. And what you hear is called auditory respond. Auditory respond. So again, visual respond mean what you see. Auditory respond mean what you hear. So, visual response is faster than auditory response. Visual response faster than auditory response. What is faster? Visual response. Super. Okay. Can you remember with me what is the meaning of reaction time? It was the time you take or the time the organism take uh, to react with different stimuli. Or we can see that it is the period, period means time, it is the time you take from sense the danger to be away. The time you can take from sensing a danger to be away. Like what? Like what is the danger? Like the cactus plant. When you're touching the cactus plant, you feel danger, so you, so you move your hand away. The time you take is called reaction time. So again, what is the meaning of reaction time? The time from sensing danger to be away. The time from sensing the danger to be away from it. This is called reaction time. This is called reaction time. Super. Okay. After you feel the danger, you can feel the danger when the message go to your brain. When the message go to your brain, the brain know that there is a danger so the brain will make a response what is the meaning of response response means tell the body what should he do like move your hand away okay to move your hand away you can uh, it is uh, happened by helping uh, with two things the nerves of your body and the body muscles the brain will send the message to the nerves and the nerves will take the message to the body muscles and the muscles will move away. So the respond is resulted or happened from integration or helping of nerves and body muscles. Huh? To make a response you need nerves and body muscles. To make a response you need nerves and body muscles like moving your hand away with nerves and body muscles of your hand okay what is the function or what is the job of the body muscles the body muscles is moving you away or to another place from the danger by the helping of nervous system the body muscles it is in all your body if you want to make any part of your body move so you need your body muscles but your muscle will doesn't move without your nervous system it need a message from the nervous system to move anywhere from your body muscles okay now let's start lesson number four from concept number two which is how the nervous system works let's start together what is the function of the nervous system or how can the nervous system works first the nervous system the nervous system collecting the informations or messages from inside and outside the body to the brain with your sensory organs you are taking the information from inside your body and outside your body 
how from outside your body by uh, smelling by tasting by touching this is from outside the body what about inside the body like we when you feel hungry this is also an information so you are collecting the information from inside and outside the body to the brain this is number one so number one collecting information collecting information number two when the information go to the brain what happened the brain will understand what does this information means so number two understanding the information okay after the brain understand what is this information it will make a response what is the meaning of response tell the body what should he do tell the body what to do so number one collecting information from inside and outside body understanding respond collecting information understanding respond huh how can the nervous system works collecting information from inside and outside body and this information go to the brain understand it understand what is this information means after that the brain will make a respond super so first collecting understanding and respond what is the role or what is the importance of the five senses in the uh, processing information what is the sensory organs we have a five sensory organs eyes nose tongue ears and skin the five sensory organs are getting the information from outside the body after that the five sensory organs will send this information through the nerves and the nerves will send it to the brain after that the brain will understand what is this message so the sensory organs send the message through the nerves to the brain send the message through the nerves to the brain super okay what about the components of nervous system like the brain and the spinal cord and the sensory organs all of these components are they connected to each other yes they are connected by what by the nerves because we have a nerves in all our body so the components of nervous system connected together by nerves the components of nervous system connected together by nerves okay let's take an example when your ears hear a bird chirping when your ears hears the bird chirping okay how can the nervous system works first first the um the sensory receptors of the ears the sensory receptors of the ears will take the sound waves which is the message the message is a sound waves so sensory receptors of ears will hear the sound and the message will go to the nerves from the nerves to the brain and the brain will make a response and tell the body what to do so again when you hear a sound the sensory organs or the sensory receptors of ears take the message to the nerves from the nerves to the brain and the brain make a respond and tell the body what should he do okay there is some messages are very very fast and we cannot even release it like what like when someone uh, try this is called reflex action like also when you touch the cactus plant and you move your hand away this is called a reflex action you make it very very fast and this is called a reflex action so you make the reflex action in a time called reaction time super so this is called a reflex action and it happened in a very short time called reaction time 
Uh, okay. There is also other messages. There is also other messages can send from the brain automatically uh, all the time. Like what? What can you make all the time? What are you making all the time? And this message is go automatically. The breathing. We can make everything in our body with the nervous system. Okay, what about the breathing? The breathing message is go automatically from your brain to your body automatically without even uh, uh, thinking. So, with you was Miss Noura Abdurrahman and thank you for listening.